Good morning, you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and take you guys throughout a day and a weekend of what I usually do. Um, I'm currently on my psych rotation and it's been really chill. Um, I haven't had a lot of shifts, um, but when I do go in, I get to see patients with the uh, psychiatrist. So that's been really nice. It's um, been a lot of relaxing. Um, even though I do have an exam next week, I'm a lot less stressed than I was for uh, this exam than the previous exams. Today is gonna be a day in the life, a Sunday in the life of a PA student currently on clinical rotations. Currently it's 8.30, I just hopped out of the shower. I'm gonna be going to church at 10 and then probably study, go to the gym. Let's make today a great day. All right, so I'm one of those people where I have a hard time gaining weight. So this is what I've been eating every day in the morning. Got egg whites, bagel, some coffee. Even though I don't drink a lot of coffee, peanut butter, uh, banana, two eggs, and turkey bacon, which comes out to about a thousand calories. I've been trying to slowly gain weight, like I said, but I lost five pounds during my ER EM rotation. I'm actually gonna be trying to gain it all back and have been working out consistently. So you guys the finished product. All right, here is the finished product. I actually usually put more peanut butter, but I ran out. Time to eat. I have a first name. Anybody relate to that? You know what I'm talking about? Been there in your life? Uh, I'm so broke, if someone tried to rob me, they'd just be practicing. I'm so broke that when I, I swipe my debit card, my debit card looks at me like this. <laughs> and money's very powerful and can do a lot of things, but when you think about it, money in and of itself can't deliver on those promises, right? But generosity has the power to deliver much more of what money actually promises joy, security, a sense of peace, a sense that God is in control in your life. All right guys, so I just finished um, going to service. I go to Central Church here in Henderson and I absolutely love it. Praise production is just out of this world. And the pastor Judd is really amazing. He's a really good speaker. He's really funny, he's really relatable. And so yeah, I think something that I get asked not too often, but enough where you know I could talk about it is you know going to church or being religious while in PA school and it's definitely been a struggle for me in the sense that um, you want to make time to study you want to have time to you know rest and sometimes church becomes kind of like a uh, afterthought and so I think during clinical rotation it has been a little bit easier to go to church I don't necessarily think your faith, you know, is different if you miss a day or two. As long as you still believe, that's the most important thing. In today's message, he was pretty much just saying you were blessed to be a blessing to others. And I think as a future provider and as a future healthcare provider, um, that's really relatable and that being able to get an education, to get this PA education, uh, is such a huge blessing for us. And it's our duty to use that to bless others, our patients. And so, you know, it's really cool because a lot of the things that I learned in church are relatable to myself as a future provider. And you may not be religious, but it's okay. I'm not necessarily the type to force my religion on anyone, and I don't um, like when people do that. You know, it's a free country. You're allowed to believe whatever you want. Going to church, being religious, and, you know, believing in God is something that I think has helped me to... Uh, follow you know a straighter path not that I'm perfect because I'm far from it but uh, it's definitely helped in terms of finding peace with myself and I guess just overall being a better person so that's the big thing for me is I do strive to be the best person I can be and going to church is helpful in terms of my spirituality and something that I think people stress out about too is do I have time to go to church or time for these other activities in my life outside of PA school and the answer is yes you do have time you do have um, the opportunity to do that it's all about making the time being efficient with your study time so that you do have extra time to do all these things that you know help you mentally, spiritually, and you know, those aspects of your life. Um, PA school is extremely busy, it's crazy, it's a lot of studying, a lot of material, but you do still have that free time to do things that are good for your mental health, personal health, things like that. Do you guys like my glasses? These are from Movement. They're actually uh, 
computer blue blocker glasses that I like to wear out occasionally too just because why not? Um, I like how they look. You can see from the reflection that it's blocking out kind of like those rays or whatever. Early the next morning. Good morning, it is 6.15. So I'm gonna be trying this thing where I wake up early um, because I wanna be productive. Yeah, I'm gonna try to wake up at 6.15 every day this week. I have my Psych EOR on Thursday and it's Monday right now, so still gotta be quiet because people are sleeping, but time to get up. <laughs> All right, so it's currently 7.15. I am studying for my psych EOR. Yeah, I've got a nice little cup of coffee. I've got a nice glass of water. Yeah, I do wanna be more productive throughout the day and I think starting off on a good step of waking up early, being productive in the morning, and just kinda hitting the ground running is something that I wanna do. So I'm actually trying to bulk um, I lost five pounds during my emergency medicine rotation. Yeah, I'm um, sitting around, actually gained probably that five pounds back this month, but I'm floating around 168, and I do want to be around 180, and then hopefully cut down to be around 170, 175 as my ideal weight. But I do want to gain some muscle. I've been going to the gym every day, but again, trying to eat more and I guess the earlier I wake up, the more opportunity I have to eat and actually bulk up and eat healthier as well. So yeah, I'm actually just studying psych and I guess a tip for whenever you're studying psychiatry is most of the conditions you kind of have a good idea with the symptoms, but also be aware of the duration of the symptoms. That's really important. Like generalized anxiety disorder, you need to have it for at least six months to be considered general anxiety disorder. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Major depressive disorder, you need to have it for more than two weeks. Bipolar one disorder, you need to have for more than one week, or at least one week is what they say. Bipolar two, which is kind of um, more hypomanic episodes mixed with de major depressive episodes, you have to have at least four consecutive days. So it's not a, it doesn't have to be a full week, but um, you need to have those four consecutive days. So psych is actually pretty simple. Um, I do like it. I'm considering maybe going into it after I do my family medicine internship. Who knows? Maybe I'll stay in family med throughout my whole career, but I think psych might be something that I would enjoy just because I do like the aspect of, you know, talking things out with patients and then I, I really like that. You do have a lot of continuity of care. That's something that I think is an issue that our society, especially here in Southern Nevada, uh, needs more of is mental health specialists and things like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and study for probably two, three more hours, eat breakfast, and then go to the gym. And my place is kind of cold, so that's why I'm wearing my Patagonia jacket, but shout out to my best friends for getting me this jacket for me. Um, it's super warm.